Yeah, praise God. Welcome everybody to our Blossom Network prayer meeting today. We thank God for another opportunity since last month. Let's just appreciate God and thank him. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We thank you for another opportunity to be able to gather together as women of purpose, as leaders. We thank you for what you're doing in individuals' life. We thank you for what you're set to do in our midst today. We anticipate greatness. We anticipate um, healing, salvation. We, 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 we see deliverance happening in our midst today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everyone that will minister. We pray, oh God, that we will use them mightily, speaking the word in season, meeting the needs of everyone that is here today in the name of Jesus. We saturate the atmosphere with your grace, your presence, your power in the name of Jesus. Nothing will take the glory apart from you in Jesus' mighty name. We call forth everyone that is meant to be here today and we declare that they are quickened to join us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. We just um, want to worship God with songs and adoration and praises for he is good. The Bible says to us that God is good and we know that God is good and his mercies endures forever. We want to thank God for daily loading us with benefits and we just want to appreciate him in songs, in praises, in thanksgiving, lifting our hands to him and saying thank you Jesus for all the good things that you have done for us. We worship you Lord. We worship you our God. We say your word the Lord. Come and speak a word to God, a word, a word of thanksgiving, a word of adoration, a word of reference for who he is to you. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so good. You are so good, almighty God. I'll be your name. Your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, we worship you. We worship you, Son of God, Son of God. You are so good, you've been so kind, almighty God, I'll be your name. Your dominion is forevermore, Adonai, O oh Lord. We worship you. You are the Son of God, and you've been so good to us. Almighty God, I'll be your name, your dominion is forevermore your dominion your dominion is forevermore forevermore your dominion is forevermore hallelujah forever Oh Lord, I will always praise you forever. Oh Lord, 
I will always seek your face forever and ever, forever, forever, oh Lord. I will always praise you forever. Forever, my darling Jesus, oh Lord, I will always, I will always seek your faith. Sing forever, forever, forever and ever, oh Lord. I will always, I will always praise you, no other name, forever, oh Lord, I will always seek your face. No other name like the name of Jesus. No other name like the name of the Lord. No other name like the name of Jesus. Is worthy of glory, is worthy of honor, and is worthy of power and praise. No other name, no other name like the name of Jesus. Sing no other name. No other name like the name of the Lord, Jehovah Jireh. No other name, name of Jesus is worthy of glory. Hallelujah. Worthy of honor, worthy of power and praise. No other name, no other name like the name of Jesus. At the mention of the name of Jesus, all the name like the name of the Lord, every knee must bow. No other name like the name of Jesus is worthy of glory. He is worthy of honor. He is worthy of power and praise. He is worthy, he is worthy. He is worthy of glory, worthy of honor. He is worthy of power and praise. He is worthy. He is worthy of glory, worthy of honor, and he is worthy of power and praise. Come and lift up your voice and give him all the glory and all the praise. For he is worthy. Come and lift up your voice and praise him. Praise him in your own language. Praise him in a, another tongue. We say you're worthy, Lord Jesus. 
Jesus, 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 you are worthy. You are the of glory. You are the of all the honor. And you are the of power and praise. You are the of glory. Malebo shandelebo. Marekez and the Lebo Shandalabos and the Lava. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of power and praise. We give you glory, Lord, for you alone are worthy of our praise. You deserve all the glory and all the honor. If it has not been you, by our side, oh God, our life would have been consumed, our life would have been useless, oh God, for great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father, you reign, great are you lord greatly to be praised greatly to be praised father you reign come and sing great are you lord you greatly to be praised you greatly to be praised Father, you reign, great are you, Lord. You greatly to be praised. You greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Come and sing. Great are you, Lord. You greatly to be praised. You greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You greatly to be praised. You greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. With a grateful heart we say, Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Sing, Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great and mighty is your name. Great are you, Lord. Alpha and Omega. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. With a grateful heart. I lift my hands to say, proclaiming, Lord, you reign with a grateful heart for all you've done for us, for having our back all the time. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to say, Proclaiming, Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign, great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised, greatly to be praised, Father, you reign, great are you lord you greatly to be praised you greatly to be praised 
Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Come on, lift up your hands and say, Great. Great are you, Lord. You are great in our midst. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. He's great. He's mighty, he's awesome. My lebros and alabajanalebo. Great, great are you, Lord, are you, Lord, are you, Lord? E canale mo shanele bos and alabababa. Mighty, my animals and elebo. Great are you, Lord. Jesus, we enthrone you, we worship you. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. And greatly to be praised. Father, you reign. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Come on, lift up your voice and worship him. He is greater, he is stronger. He is higher than any other God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God, sing it one more time. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. I got his healer, awesome in power, I got, I got, and if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us, not even COVID, and if our God is for us, then who can stand against and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? We give you all the glory, Lord. We worship you. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father, for a time like this. Thank you for an opportunity to come and adore you. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for an opportunity to gather to praise him, to gather to pray as women of purpose, as transformational leaders. We bless you, O oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' awesome name, we've worshipped. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, um, Sean, for that wonderful time of worship. Thank you so much. I just want to welcome everybody to our Blossom Network meeting, the July edition. God is doing amazing things. I'm so excited about today. You know, it's the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in a God is doing amazing things. And I just, as I was praying today, today normally in Blossom Network, we normally wait upon the Lord. And you can see that God is praying, just praying for young women as well, even just to start to pray. And, you know, there's just so much, there was just so much burden in my heart that I just, and I was like, wow, you know, 
And so God is going to do amazing things. We're trusting God. The Bible says that in James chapter 5, that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous man and woman avail us much. So we're trusting God that the prayers that we're going to pray today is going to make power available to work in our community, to work even in the lives of the young women that are connected with us. Remember there's seed time and harvest. And one thing I've learned is there's a time to sow and there's a time to reap. So that's just one that helps remain at seed time and harvest time will forever be available. Do you understand? So it's like there's time. Like it says in chapter three says there's time for everything. There's time for everything under the sun. This is a time when we're coming together as women. A lot of us here, we're not young women, you know, but we're here to stand in the gap for women, for young women, especially for from the age of 18, I believe that God is going to do amazing things here with us. I don't want to take too much time. It gives me such a great pleasure to have, we have within us Dr. Inkira Sebuna, a woman with a big heart for young women. Honestly, I've known her for years. She's such a lovely person and she's just got this heart for young women and she just keeps going on and on, both here in the UK and even in Nigeria. So she runs the girls, there's a girl talk forum for young women in the UK. So if you know any young woman that are connected with you, please, if you want, if they want to know more about Girls Talk, I will recommend it. Um, I know they meet online now, but before COVID, they were meeting face to face. So it's a forum for young women in, to connect, to chat, to share, learn, and sharpen on each other. She's also the founder of Inwa Yichiku Charity Outreach, a charity that offers grants for education and life skills training to less privileged young women in Nigeria. You know, uh, I, I think I've seen videos and I'll share those videos on Blossom by tomorrow of what they're doing. You know, she has in her community, they refer her as light. You know, I think that's what they call you. I remember from when we had the lunch as light. So she's just a woman of God. It's not about beefing anybody up. We don't beef people up. We appreciate the grace of God on our life. So I'm just going to hand over to Dr. Inkira Sebuna who is going to lead us in praying for young women this um, this evening. Welcome, welcome, Dr. Inki. I'm just going to hand over to you now. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Defer. good evening, all the Blossom Network ladies. Um, I hope you can hear me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Defer, for inviting me. It's a great privilege and an honor to be here. Like you said, we go back more than two decades. Um, I thank God for you and I celebrate the grace of God upon your life and what he's doing through you in Positive Features Group and um, also through Blossom Network and all the other things that God has committed into your hands. Um, thank you, thank you for making out time for us to pray for young women. And um, I want to thank each and every one of the Blossom Network ladies who are here today to be part of um, this prayer encounter and experience. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I want to start by saying that when we talk about young women, we often say we're looking at women between the ages of 18 and 35. But quite honestly, you know, I, I believe in my heart of hearts that what God has said to me that a young woman is any woman with a teachable spirit. So even though we define them in sort of age brackets, it's not really about the age. It's, it's about any woman who has a teachable heart as a young woman before God, because we haven't arrived. We're still on that journey. And there's so much that God can still do in us and through us once we're yielded vessels and we're aligning ourselves to his plan and his purpose. So as we pray today, I, I want us to you know, focus on young women who are connected to our apron strings, young women in our community, young women that we have a heart for. But at the same time, I also want us to pray for ourselves. If you count yourself as a young woman because you have a teachable spirit, I want you to shout hallelujah wherever you are. We're not just praying for these young women. We're also praying for ourselves this evening. So um, I, 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 I really appreciate my sister who led us in worship. I was just in the background and I can just feel, sense a great presence of the Lord already here in this meeting. So I thank you and I, I just want us to ride on in the same grace and in the same anointing. 
You know, the Bible says wherever two or three are gathered together in his name, that there he is in their midst. I know the Father is already here. The Son is here. The Holy Spirit is here. We welcome the Holy Spirit to come and be here, to come and be part of this ministry, to come and be part of this prayer time. Because we can't even pray according to his will without the enablement of the Holy Spirit. So I want us just to open our hearts this evening. We can only come into the presence of the Lord by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of that covenant that has delivered us from sin and death. It's only by the blood of Jesus that we can begin to approach the presence of God to obtain grace in time of, to obtain mercy, to obtain grace at this time as we come to pray. So um, I want us to just open our hearts now and just begin to welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit. As we do that, I just want us to say, you know, Lord, it's not really about me, Lord, it's about you. We want you to come and take absolute control. We want to pray according to your will. We want to establish your will here on earth as it is in heaven concerning the young women, concerning the agenda that you have for their lives. Lord, it's not really about us. So Lord, we are going out of the way this evening. We're just asking you to come and come and permeate this environment, come and permeate this virtual space, come and take absolute control and do that which only you can do, even as we align ourselves to pray according to your will this evening. In preparing our hearts and in preparing our, our, ourselves for this prayer encounter, I just want us, the Bible says if we regard iniquity in our hearts, the Lord will not hear us. Before we can stand effectively in the gap for anyone, we just need to read ourselves of iniquity, to read ourselves of sin. So I want us to come first and just say, Lord, you know, I'm here to pray. Lord, I'm here. But Lord, before I begin to stand in the gap for anyone, <laughs> the psalmist said, <laughs> create in me a clean heart, O Lord, <laughs> and renew a right spirit within me. I want us to cry out to God first, create in me a clean heart, O Lord, renew a right spirit within me, O Lord. Father, this evening, oh God, as we come, oh God, Lord, I open my heart to you, oh God. I cry out to you, Father. I say, create in me a clean heart, oh Lord, and renew a right spirit within me, oh God. Father, cleanse me of every unrighteousness, oh God, of every wicked sin, oh God, of the things that I regard as sin and the things that I don't recognize as sin, but are standing as iniquity now between me and you, oh God. Father, have mercy, O oh God. In your mercy, cleanse us from every unrighteousness, O oh God. In your mercy, O oh God, make us whole again by reason of the blood. Father, we plead the blood as we approach your throne of grace this evening. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of the new covenant. We plead the blood, that blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Lord, we come by the blood tonight. Father, we pray that the blood of Jesus will speak better things tonight, O oh God. We will speak better things concerning us, O oh God, and concerning the people that we have come to stand in the gap concerning, Father. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because by reason of the blood, we can come into your holy place this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah. I just want us to sing this song briefly, if you know it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we have confidence by the blood of Jesus. To come into the place where you are, to come into the place where you are, by the new and living way we enter into your holy place lord we come to worship you with all our hearts we come to worship you with all our hearts lord we come to worship you with all our hearts, we come to worship you with all our hearts. 
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus tonight. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you because by reason of your blood, we can enter right now into the holy place. Lord, we bless you. We praise you. We honor you. We adore you, oh God. We give glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. I want us to open our mouths in thanksgiving and in adoration to the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Oh, this God who is greater than the greatest, who is higher than the highest. Thank you, <laughs> There's Lord. no one who compares to him. No one, no, like one. no one like you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Elohim. Thank you, my great I am. Thank yes. you, omnipotent oh, omnipresent. Oh, Oh God, you are awesome. You are beautiful. You are beautiful beyond description. You are too marvelous for words, too wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Lord, who can fathom your infinite wisdom? Jehovah, we extol you in this place of prayer this evening, oh God. We ascribe greatness to you, oh God. We declare that your work is perfect and all your ways are just. You are a God of faithfulness without injustice. Lord, we say, hallowed be your holy name, O God. We declare, O God, we say unto you be all the glory because indeed you have done great things and you are greatly to be praised. Father, we worship at your footstool tonight, O God. We declare that down at your feet is the most high place, O God. In your presence, Father, we have come in, O God, to seek your face. We have come in to cry aloud to you, O God. We have come in, O God, to stand in the gap, O God, for women, O God. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you because we see, O God, that you have opened up the heavens, O God. Father, you have opened up the heavens to us tonight, O God. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you for open heavens in this place, O God. Thank you. We give you all the glory and all the honor. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I believe that our starting point in praying this evening, you know, as I was preparing for this prayer time, um, I, I did prepare and I was asking God, you know, what are the things that we should be praying about for these young women? What are the things that we should really be praying about for these young women for such a time as this? And um, I have my prayer points, but this morning, I believe God woke me up and said we should pray for prodigal daughters to come home. Amen. We're praying for prodigal daughters to come home. If we open our Bibles to Luke chapter 15, we can first of all see that Jesus started with a parable. He told a parable about someone who had a hundred sheep and lost one. And when after that one was lost, he said, you know, wouldn't you even leave the 99 that you have to go after that one that is lost? You know, and, and when you find that one, would you not come back rejoicing? Will you not come home all together with your friends and celebrate and say, look, I have found that one sheep which was lost. I believe that the starting place of our prayer this evening is to create joy in heaven, to cause a sound of celebration in heaven. The Bible says that there's joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 others who are already in the kingdom. So I want us to start, you know, I'm not going to read the whole of Luke chapter 15, but we know the story of the prodigal son. You know, the Bible talks about him going to a far country. We have daughters that have gone to a far country. We have daughters that have gone to a far place. We have daughters who have given up and they're living a reckless and sinful life. We have daughters who have engaged in wasteful living. You know, when I read my Bible, it says, it, it doesn't just talk about uh, the prodigal son as someone who was reckless. You know, the Bible actually says he went and laid, he, I, I will find the right words in my Bible and I, I will read that out to you. But I, I want us to know that our starting point tonight is that, you know, we, we are praying this evening that God will bring a turnaround in the lives of the daughters who have taken off, who have gone to a far country you know, the women we're talking about who have gone to a far country, sometimes we have children who have been raised in church, they go off to uni, they've gone to a far country. There's no, their, their lifestyle is totally different from what they were before. You know, we, we have other young women who for different pressures, you know, they have gone to a far country. They've been sent to the UK to do their postgraduate training. They don't have money. 
to do things and they begin to you know engage in types of behaviors that nobody would have expected that they would you know we have people who don't know christ at all from adam and they've gone to a far country but tonight we're going to cry out to god that our prodigal daughters will come home that they will give up reckless and sinful and waste, wasteful living, that the spirit of conviction will catch up with them wherever they are and bring up, bring a turn around in their lives in the name of Jesus. You know, some people who we are calling prodigal daughters today are those who are wasting their God-given resources. There are those, there are some of them who have been in the choir, they've led praise and worship, they've now taken off, they're doing other things with the talents that God has given them. You know, there are others who God has a mine of deposit in their lives, but those talents have not found an expression in the house of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord. You know, we can think about Moses who was called to be a ruler and a deliverer, but he first of all spent time, you know, he when, when he was going away, he used that his talent to first of all kill and then went on exile. So I want us to open our mouths as we pray for ourselves and as we pray for these women, I want us to cry out tonight that every prodigal daughter, wherever they are, that the spirit of conviction will reach them in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, the Bible says it is the spirit of God that convicts man of sin and wickedness. We can't convict them. We can't bring them back in our own accord. You know, that God will set up chains of events that will reach and touch them wherever they are. The Bible says concerning the prodigal son that when he came to his senses, he realized, when he came to his senses, he realized that there were many hired servants in his father's house. And he was living, the way he was living actually, he was beginning to not just serve pigs, but to begin to eat the things that were designed for pigs. There are many people who God has laid out a great table before them. There are many people who belong in the house of the Lord, yet they're in places where they are not just being treated as pigs, but they're feeding from the lowest of lows. You know, they're living the lowest kind of life that is contrary to the plan and the desire that God has for their lives. I want you to cry out tonight for, to God for these people in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight, oh God, we're praying that our, daughter, our prodigal daughters will come home in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we're crying out to you that every prodigal daughter will come home in the name of Jesus. Anyone, oh God, who has exited from the kingdom and is living according to their own ways, facing their own, their, following the lust and the sinfulness of sin, exercising immorality. Father, Lord, we're crying out tonight. Father, Lord, Father, anyone who is engaging in riotous living in the mighty name of Jesus, everyone that has fallen so low in order to fill their bellies in the matcha karika da manude de de bakore bakashanda la bakore bakasanda hai ora bakateke de bekekore bakatanda la kashoro bokoseke de de keanda hai ora balabature bakaskinda la bakore bakashanda la bakope kakakose karabakande hai me yakalaba luba de di kaskalala la kore bakashanda kaskore bakanda hai but we are crying out to you tonight maya kale madido do koskende le bekaya kasanda hai ore bakasanda la bakashanda hai reach and touch our daughters that have gone astray oh god reach and touch them oh god may akala maloba duri bakashanda by the power of your holy spirit oh god may akala balaba kore makashanda la bakosi ke yakataki do bakatale la bakore makasanda hai may akatala baroba kaskede le bekore bakataka la bakore bakashanda hai ore makande le bekore makaskanda la bakore bakashanda hai ora makate ke le bekore bakashanda la bakore bakasanda hai ora makashanda bakasanda father create the circumstances wherever they have gone to that will make them to arise and return to their father in the mighty name of Jesus. Concerning the prodigal son, Maya Kaleba Rabakashanda, the Bible says he came to the end of himself. Father, create those circumstances and those situations that will cause them to come to the end of themselves, that they will remember that a greater than them exists in the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Kalaba Rabakore Bakasinda Lebakore Bakatange Lebeke Kaka Dabakore Bakasanda Hai. Ora makateke rebekore makashanda la bakore makatande lebekukweka kakasele bayanda hai. Yenke rebo 
Boko Sere by Yakatala Makore by Kashanda La Bakateke Skanda Hai. Ore Matari by Kashanda. Lord, as you bring the spirit of conviction on them wherever they are, oh God, we pray for the grace for them to arise, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Like the prodigal son arose, oh God, they will arise, oh God. They will say, I will arise and go back to my father. I will arise and go back to my father. I will arise and go back to my father. That will be their cry in the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Katande Lebe Kore by Kasanda Labakore by Kantehe. Ye Kereba Babako Sekekea Katapora by Kashenke de Bekea Handa Hat. Ye Kereba Boko Sekere Beke Kore by Kashanda Labakore by Katakatiko Sanda Lababahande. Ye Kere Bakore by Kasanke Lebeke Kakako Serebe and the Hat. Ye Kere Babo Sarababo Serekea Lababo Borokeka Kakasheke de Bea Kataleba Handa Hat. Ye Kere Babo Sarabakore by Kashanda Hat. May a Kasanda la Makore Makashenge de Bekekaya Kasanda Hai. Father, as they arise, oh God, we pray that you plant people in their way that will encourage them to come back home to you in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that God will plant people on the way that will encourage them to come back home in the name of Jesus. Maya Kateke Rebe Yakanda, Yekero Bakore Bakatange de Bekekaya Kai. They will hear voices of encouragement, oh God. They will hear voices of encouragement, oh God. They will hear voices saying to them, come home home. A feast has been laid out for you. Come home. They will hear voices of encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Kalema Kasanda Hai. Mie Karaba Kore Ba Kasanda La Bakore Ma Kasanda Hai. Mie Karaba Kobeka La Ma Kasanda Hai. They will not wander in the wilderness of wantonness, oh God. Mea Kalaba Raba Kobe Kasanda Hai. Mea Katali Kashkanda. They will hear your voice, oh God. They will hear your voice and they will come home, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Kateke Rebeke Lord, position men that will see them afar off, oh God, and run to welcome them in the name of Jesus. We ask you to position men and women that will see them from afar off and run to welcome them home in the name of Jesus. May Akalaba Rapakoshe Kayanda open their eyes to see those men and women, oh God, that you are planting on their path so that they will journey home with rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus. May Akalaba Rabakatinga Rabakashanda Hai. Yekerebo Kore Makasanda Labakore Makashanda Labakore Makatandele. Yekerebobo Sarababa Kore Makatande de Kekaka Kashanda Hai. Father, we welcome your daughters tonight, oh God, because as we pray, oh God, we know that Dadakaya Kasonda Lobokoshenda La Kashanda Hai. Now, prison chains have been broken, oh God. That yokes have been destroyed and burdens have been released in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for joy, O oh God. May a kalama rakasanda for joy in heaven, O oh God. May a kalama kasanda as these daughters find their way home, O oh God, to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for joy in heaven, O oh God. We thank you for joy in heaven, O oh God. May a katake rabakasanda yeke rabakatore makasanda. We declare a harvest of souls of young women in this place today in the name of Jesus. As we pray, O oh God, may a kalama rabakateke ya kasanda. We thank you for your angels on assignment, O oh God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit at work, O oh God. May a kalama rabakasinga hai. We thank you for strong deliverances, O oh God. May a karaba katore makashanda la makatore bakatinge de deke ya katale makore makanda hai. Ye kere bakore bakaskanda hai. Ye kere babokoskere beyanda la bakore makatani le leki kakashanda hai. Father, we thank and praise you, O oh God. We thank and praise you, O oh God. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, O oh God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a harvest of souls, O oh God. Thank you for a harvest of souls, O oh God. Thank you for a harvest of souls of young women, O oh God, coming to you, O oh God. Thank you for a harvest of souls of young women coming to you, O oh God. May a kalabarabakadi korema. Kashanda Hai. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 The next scripture I'm just going to read is Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. He says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. 
also in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Galatians 4.19 says, Christ be formed in our hearts. Philippians 1.20 says, Christ be magnified in my body, whether through life or through death. You know, uh, uh, the next prayer point I want us to take is that young women will find their identity in Christ. You know, as we're praying for these young women, as we're praying for them to come back home, one of the greatest challenges that our young women today are facing is their identity, knowing who they are, knowing who they are, knowing who they are, not measuring themselves by other people, not living according to the dictates of this world, not deciding to align to what the world expects of them, what social media says they should look like or be like. You know, I want us to pray today. I want us to pray for our young women to find their identity in Christ for our young women to find their identity in Christ. Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for these young women. We thank you for those of them who are in Christ. We thank you for those of them that have just come home as a result of our cry that the prodigals will come home to you, oh God. Today we pray, oh God, that by your grace they will set their heart on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. We pray that they will set their hearts. They will set their hearts. They will set their hearts. They will set their hearts above in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that there are new creations in Christ Jesus, that all things have passed away. The world way of doing things is passed away. The new has come. The new has come. Behold, the new has come. We declare concerning each and every one of these young women that the new has come. We declare that the new has come for them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that Christ be formed in their hearts. We pray that Christ be formed in their hearts through faith. We pray that Christ be formed in their hearts through faith in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will be magnified in their body. You will be magnified in their thoughts. You will be magnified in their actions. Lord, one of the things that makes people to conform, one of the things that makes people to conform is just because they don't know who they are. They don't know the dynamite that God has deposited on the inside of them. They don't know. They don't know. Therefore, they're not happy to be uniquely who God has created them to be. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end, to give you a future and a hope, to give you a future and a hope. In Jeremiah 1 as well, you know, the Bible says that God knew Jeremiah before he conceived him and appointed him for a purpose. So the same goes for all of our young women. You know, I want us to pray that God will open their eyes to see the good plans that he has written concerning them. You know, as we pray that, I pray for myself too, that God will open my eyes to see the good plans that he has written concerning me, that I will discover it and I will walk in it. That these young women who are tied to my apron strings, they will discover it and they will walk in it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to declare that today we come into total agreement with God's good plan for our lives. We come into total agreement with God's good plan for these young women. We come into total agreement with God's plan. We begin to pray, let God's will be done on on earth as it is in heaven concerning these young women in the name of Jesus. Let God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven concerning my life as a woman with a teachable spirit. Let God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven concerning these young women. I declare that I belong to you, Lord, and I'm becoming everything that you intended for me to become. Oh, Lord, I declare that these young women belong to you, oh God. They are bought with a prize. Therefore, they are aligning themselves to become everything that you intended for for them to become in the name of Jesus. Let their purpose be revealed to them, O oh God. 
May a kateke de bekure makasanda la bakashenda la bakore makatenge de deke yandaha. Let them come in agreement, O God, with the good plans that you have written concerning each and every one of them, O God. May a kalaba la bakore makatenge de deke yankata la bakore makashanda ha. Yenke de bobo sarabakore makatana la bakoshika. Yenke de bobo sarabakore makatani le bobo seke kakakakakasa la babobo kuskanda ha. Father, Lord, I thank you. I praise you, O oh God. I thank you. I praise you, Father. Father, we thank you and we praise you, O oh God. We thank you and we praise you, O oh God. We thank you and we praise you, O oh God. We thank you and we praise it, oh, praise you, O oh God. <laughs> that these young women will be aligned, O oh God, to your plans and your purposes for their lives. The good plan that you have for them. That good plan, O oh God, of a future and a hope, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank and praise you, Lord. We say, blessed be your holy name, O God. Hallowed be your holy name, O God, because you know you have done it, O God. Blessed be your name, O God. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good for them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. There are young women who are going through adversity as we speak. <laughs> there are those who are facing diverse kinds of challenges as we speak. <laughs> oh, but the Bible doesn't say that, you know, we should give thanks for everything, but it says in everything we should give thanks. We should give thanks in everything for this is the will of God concerning us in Christ Jesus. You know, our prayer point is going to be <laughs> that because these women belong to God, because I belong to God, and because I am aligning my life and my purpose to the plans and purposes of God, that all things are working together for my good, both the things I understand and the things that I don't understand, both my victories and the challenges that I'm walking through at the moment. Let's begin to pray. <laughs> now concerning these young women, Maya Kateng and Ebokosanda Kashenda, everything that the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for good. God will cause it to walk in their favor in the name of Jesus. Maya Katabalaba Kashanda, we know that he is the accuser of the brethren, but we know that God is able to turn all to cause all grace to abound towards them. Maya Kateng and Ebokoseke de Kekakakakakoshika. Let's pray. Every pain, every shame that they have faced, every pain, every shame, every pain, every shame. <coughs> God will turn it to fame and glory in the name of Jesus because he's causing everything to work together for their good in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Ramasanda, hi. A generation of young women, oh God, may a cutting and a mashanda that will be a people of your presence, oh God. A generation of young women, oh God, that when they come in, oh God, your presence enters the atmosphere, oh God. May a kaliba kashakara makore makatange rebeke yaka danana. Yekere makore makasana la makore makasenge rebeke yaka talama. Yekere bokoze reke yaka talama dobe kaskanda ha. Eja kalama rabasore makateke. May our hearts pant after you, O oh God, like the deer pants after the waters, O oh God. May we find you for ourselves, O oh God. Your word says we will seek you and we will find you, O oh God. When we we seek you with all of our hearts, Father. May we are carry back Kasan Hat. May we seek you with all of our hearts, O oh God. May a Kashada, because surely we will be found of you, O oh God. Surely we will obtain favor of you, O oh God. Surely we will hear you, O oh God. May a Kadaba Korema Kasan Hai. May a Karaba Korema Kasanda Laba Korema Kasan Hat. Oh, Ramakade Korema Sanda Laba Korema Kasanda Laba Korema Kataya Handa. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. 
We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. We are still praying. We're still praying. I'm going to read John chapter 14, verse 26. It says, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. <laughs> the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, <laughs> he will teach you all things. <laughs> he will teach you all things. He will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. We don't want our young women to be like that person who looks at the mirror. And when they go away, they forget what they look like. You know, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit, the advocate, he will teach us all things and he will remind us of everything that he has said to us. So I want us to just pray now. I want us to take this prayer point. I want us to cancel. I want us to cancel every dream eraser. Every spirit that has been sent to wipe out our recollection of the dreams and visions that God has given us. Every spirit that has been leashed out to prevent these women from focusing on their divine assignment. Every spirit that's been leashed out that makes them to forget the prophecies that have gone before over their life. Every spirit that has been leashed out to wipe out, to wipe out the dreams and vision that God has given them. I want us to declare that every time they sleep, every time we sleep and wake up and the Holy Spirit teaches us, he will remind us of the salient things that God has been saying to us and continues to say to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray concerning these young women. Some of them, people have prophesied over their lives. People have spoken great futures concerning them, but it's as if they've looked at the mirror and gone away and forgotten what they look like. No, today we're praying. We're canceling every dream eraser. We're canceling every spirit that's been sent out to wipe out our recollection of the dreams and the visions of God for our lives in the name of Jesus. May Akadema Kasanda, because the Holy Spirit is with us, because the Holy Spirit is with us. He will remind us of all things. If you're somebody here and you sleep and you, you go to bed and you have a dream and in the morning you can't remember it, today we're saying no. Every dream eraser we're canceling in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit has been sent out to wipe out what God has spoken concerning us. To cause us to lose focus. To cause us to drift. We cancel your fire. We declare your powers null and void. We declare them ineffective. The plans and purposes of God for our lives are written with an indelible ink. They will not be forgotten. They will not be raised. They will not be wiped away. The plans and purposes of these young women are written with an indelible ink. They will not be wiped away in the name of Jesus. They will not be raised. They will not be forgotten. My academia kashanda. They will not be misplaced. My akalaba kashanda. They will not be exchanged. My akalaba rabakore makatande le bakatode bakatande le kea. Yakaraba kore makatande na nakashanda. Make karaba la bakose kea kashanda. We cast down every imagination and every high thing, every high thing that is trying to exalt themselves above the knowledge of God in the lives of these young women. We declare that only the counsel of God will stand. Only the counsel of God will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Only the counsel of God will stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank and praise you, O oh God. We thank and praise you, O oh God. May a kaloma rabba kasende lebe keka kaka shover yai. O rama kasenge lebe kore makatane lebe keka ya sanda hai. O rama kale bakosenge lebe keko re makasanda hai. 
We bless you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Hallowed be your holy name, oh God. We are still praying, ladies. We're still praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're still praying. I want us to read Psalm 139 verse 14. It says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and that I know full well. <laughs> I will praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful and that I know full well. <laughs> you know, haha, <laughs> but carry my son the high. Oh, there are many, many young women who are suffering from their identity, not just their identity, their self image, their body image. You know, some people say they have body dysmorphia. They don't understand, they don't understand that God took time to make them, to create them in his own image. They don't realize that they are beautifully and wonderfully made. You know, I, I'm coming from work. I've just been at work. I've seen a young girl who is self-harming. I've seen a young girl who has an eating disorder because she doesn't think much of herself. She doesn't realize that God took time to fashion her. You know, the Bible says that when we compare ourselves to others, you know, that we, we are not wise, we lack wisdom. You know, there's so much on social media, there's so much photoshopping, there's so many things there that when people see they want to align themselves to those images, it makes them feel less. But I want us to pray today. I want us to cry out for our young women <laughs> that they will receive the grace not to compare themselves to others. <laughs> they will have what it takes to, be, to have a confident expression of their true self in God, that they will understand. <laughs> they will understand that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. They will understand my academic kashan that God never made a mistake in fashioning them. My we are all unique. God made us all unique. No two of us are the same. No two of us have the same fingerprint. We're praying, oh God, that these young women, they will come into their own, oh God. They will come into the knowledge and understanding that they are uniquely fashioned, that they are uniquely made. May Akalima Kashandaha, Maya Kapore Makasinge Rebekekaya Katore Mashika Raba Kandehe, Yenge Rebakore Makashanda Labakore Makasandaha, May Akatore Bakasanda Labakashandaha. Oh, Ramakashanda Hai, Maya Katenge Rebeke Sandahai. Oh, Yamakashanda, we are praying, we're praying, we're saying that we have what it takes to be confident. We have what it takes to be confident and to have a confident expression of our true self, no matter where we are in the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Katenge Reboko Sanda Lama Kateke and the Hai. Ore Makatenge Rebakore Makashanda Lama Kore Makatande Leke Akatani Nana. Yara Babo Beba Kasanda. Father, thank you, O oh God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I want us to pray for young women who are single. Hallelujah. I want us to just commit them into the hands of the Lord at this time. The Bible says in Psalm 62, verse 5 to 6, a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. He says, God sets the, the solitary or the lonely in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. You know, God is the one who sets the lonely in families. He's the one who sets the lonely in a place where they feel that they are part of a group, where they feel they are valued. Hebrews 13 verse 5 says, let your manner of living be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
I will never leave you nor forsake you. The pandemic has been a very difficult time for singles, especially. I want us to cry out to God today. That every young woman, every single person will know that they are not alone. That they will be content knowing that the Lord is always with them. That he has promised that he will never leave them nor forsake them. God has said he will plant the lonely in families. I want us to pray that every person who feels isolated that their families will locate them and they will locate their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Huri matadi de do koske hakala mama bahai yengere bobo se de ke kaka kabore matatika na mama baba kore makasanda hai ore makate ke de ki akatama la bakoshe ke te ke kaka kai ore makasanda la maturi matati de ke shanda la masore bakante ke ke hai ore makasanda lord you are very present help in time of need oh god i pray that each and every one of these young women will feel you oh god they will know that you are near them oh god they will know that you will never leave them nor forsake them oh god they will know that you are an ever present help in time of need jehovah Maya Kateke Yakasanda, we pray that their families will locate them and they will locate their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Maya Kalama Rabakati Kurima Sanda Labashika Rababa Hande. Oh Rema Kasanda Labako Rema Kasanda Hai. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, oh God. We want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen, amen and amen. I want to read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. It says, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ, by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a little while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. <laughs> I want us to cry out to God this evening. <laughs> Our cry is, oh God, settle your daughters. <laughs> Oh God, settle your daughters. Maya Kalima Kashandahai. For people, settlement means different things. For somebody who is single and wants to get married, it means, oh Lord, settle me in my husband's house. Oh, for somebody who is looking for a child who is a young woman, is oh God, settle me with my child. Oh Ramala Kashanda, for someone who is looking for a job, is oh God, give me that job. Oh Remakani Lebeke Yakatanika Skanda. For somebody who is ill, the cry is, oh Lord, he me, make me whole. May a caramana bakurema cassanda la barobe kaya kanda hai. Orema katenge reboko sanda hai. Lord, your daughters have suffered a little while. We cry out to you today, oh God. May a katenge reboko sanda make them perfect, oh God. Establish their feet like hind's feet, oh God. Strengthen them in their inner man, oh God. Strengthen them through and through, oh God. Oh Lord, settle your daughters, oh God. Oh Lord, settle your daughters, oh God. God, may Akalima Kashanda Lama Kashanda do that one thing that only you can do, oh God. May Akalima Kasanda Lama Kore Makashanda Hai, Mora Badada Kosengerebe Kakashanda Hai, nothing that they're looking to you for, oh God, for such a time as this, Father, oh Lord, settle your daughters, oh God. May Akalimo Koseke Rebosa Hai, may Akatore Makasanda Lama Kore Makatengi, Asanda Lama Kore Makanda Hai, Ore Matari Bakuri. Bakasanda la Matore Makasanda Hai. Oh Romoko send the Lebeke Kore Makasanda la Bakosheke Teke Kasanda la Mahanda. Oh Romoko Shanda, Lord, many of your daughters have waited patiently for you, oh God. Pull them out of every horrible feat, oh God, and establish their goings, oh God. Turn around every captivity, oh God. May a Kalema Kasanda Hai. May a Katore Bakasanda la Makore Makanda Hai. Ore Makate Kaki Husere Bakore Makatala la Mahai. May a Katore Makasanda la Oh, 
Ora makashanda la makosende le beke ya kasanda hai. Ora makosende le beke ya kasanda hai. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hara makante le beke ya kasanda hai. Oh, my final prayer point as we begin to round off. In Esther chapter 2, verses 15 to 17, it says, When the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for her daughter, was come to go unto the king, she required nothing but what Hegai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. You know, when we read the book of Esther, we see Haggai as a type of the Holy Spirit. I want us to pray for our daughters tonight. I want us to pray for young women, any woman with a teachable spirit tonight, <laughs> that in their journey of life, they will only require what the Holy Spirit prescribes to obtain favor in the mighty name of Jesus. In our journey of life, that we will only require what the Holy Spirit prescribes to obtain favor, oh God. We won't be looking to the left or to the right, oh God. We will not be looking for answers to the left or to the right, but we will only require what the Holy Spirit prescribes to obtain favor, oh God. We will not look to man, oh God. We will find favor with you. And as we find favor with you, because we incline our ears to the Holy Spirit, we will find favor with other men. We will find favor before kings. Oh, Ramakate Kerebeke Akasanda Hai. Oh, Remakata Rabakore Makasanda Lababobe. Me Rabakore Makasanda Lababore Hai. Yende Rabobo Sarabakore Makasanda Labadore Mahai. Yere Bobo Sarabakore. Kore makante de ke sara baba hai. Yere bobo sara kate ke de meke ya kasanda lava kore makanda hai. Ore makande de bebo sa hai. Ore makande de bebo sa hai. Yene bobo se de ke ka ya kasanda hai. Ore makande de bebo sa raba kore makata di de kasanda hai. Father, we thank you for favor, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We bless you, oh God. Oh, Rama Kashanda, as our young women grow in stature, oh God. May our Kasanda, may they grow in their knowledge of you. May they grow in wisdom, oh God. May they grow in understanding, oh God. As they find favor with you, may they find favor before men. May they find favor before kings, oh God. Maya Kalema Kasanda Labakore Makashanda. We bless you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you. We say, Hallowed be your holy name, oh God. We just want to rejoice. I want you all to open your mouths in thanksgiving, oh God, as we begin to round up. Let's thank God because we have answers to our prayers, because we have prayed according to his word. We have prayed according to his will. May Akarabada Kore Makasanda. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for answering us because where two or three are present you are here father we have touched and we have agreed oh god father we thank you bakadama kasenge rebeke kaya kanda we thank you for our answers, oh God. We thank you for our answers, oh God. We thank you for our answers, oh God. We thank you for, oh God. We thank you for suddenly, oh God. We thank you for hastily, quickly, or without warning, oh God. We will see answers, oh God. We will see growth, oh God. We will see change, oh God. We will see growth. We will see change, oh God. We will see growth. We will see growth, we will see increase, we will see change, oh God. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, Jehovah. Hallowed be your holy name. Hallowed be your holy name, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 I just want all of you to just give the Lord a round of applause. Let's just praise him in this place. Let's give him the glory and the honor and the praise that is due to him because he's greater than the greatest. He's higher than the highest. He's the doer of all good things. Oh, he's a God of faithfulness without injustice. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise tonight. We just say, blessed be your holy name, oh God. Blessed be your holy name. We ascribe greatness to you. Father, we give all the glory and all the honor to you. We give all the glory and all the honor to you, Jehovah. Hallowed be your holy name, oh God. Hallowed be your holy name, oh God. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I just want to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, that was a very powerful session. Thank you so much. Yes. Time is like the time just flew. Thank you so much. Well, as we, we have about four minutes left, I just want us to pray. I want us to pray. We're going to pray for Dr. Nkirush. She has a ministry called This Girls Talk. We're just going to pray for more anointing. I pray one of the things that came to me during the day was that God will increase resources. You can see that that book, you know, I know a young woman is any woman with a teachable spirit. So I've learned that one today. So we are all young, but we're going to pray for the kind, the group of women that she's co currently reaching out to at the moment, which are between those ages, isn't it? And especially in Nigeria. So I want you to just pray for one minute. Let's just pray, speak in tongues for more resources, human resources, financial resources, helpers of destiny, because they are going to need it because we need to reach more women. This prayers harvest is coming like i said the prodigal doctors are coming and they're going to start looking for people that will help them so let's begin to pray in the spirit father lord we just lift up girls stop we lift up and in chiku charity onto your hands we thank you for more anointing we thank you for your increase in the impact increase in in, in in resources we pray that they need every need that the charity needs everything that girls stop me even in the uk father we pray today for enlargement of territory we pray for expansion of their coast in the name of Jesus, even within Nigeria, that even it's going to be so surprising the way things are just going to grow in the name of Jesus, so that they're just going to reach more women, more women, more women. I will pray for those women as well in Nigeria. We pray that even the businesses they're going to set up is going to flourish in the name of Jesus. They're training that God, God will multiply them in the name of Jesus. We speak great impact in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for Dr. Nq. We bless her this evening. We bless her, Lord. We bless her with the, with the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen, amen. I want us to pray that some people that have needs amongst us, uh, some people have sent their requests before now. We're going to pray for those who, who has uh, some people that their family members and uh, they're currently sick. We're going to pray, you know, as that's 53 talks are uh, himself by sicknesses and by stripes we are here first Peter 2 24 so let's begin to stand in the gap for those who are sick those who are connected with any members who are sick at the moment he said he's the one that heals us father we thank you Jehovah God that Christ has redeemed us from the cost of the law we stand in a gap with our sisters whose family members are currently sick we thank you for coming complete healing. We thank you for divine health in the name of Jesus. We thank you for peace for the family in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you for healing. We speak healing. We make declaration that they are healed by the stripes of Jesus. Masse on time we refuse on timely death in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray for protection with all this COVID going on. We're going to pray for divine protection for every one of us and everyone that's connected with us in the name of Jesus, especially as things are opening us. Some of us were already going back. I was back at work last week for two days a week. So, you know, some of us are already going back and we have to take some of us, we have to take the train, we're getting exposed and we're just going to pray for divine health in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we commit ourselves unto 
to you, oh God. We thank you for divine protection from COVID especially, and even from the sicknesses that are going on, oh God. We thank you for divine protection, oh God. We put ourselves, we will, we will not leave the sacred place of the Most High God. That wherever we go, Lord, your presence, I will know. We thank you for dispatch of angels in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for every woman that is here, that Lord, you will protect us from every kind of danger in the name of Jesus. We pray for our community as well, that you will help the government to continue to make the good choice, the good choice, good choices in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children. We soak everyone with the blood of Jesus as they're breaking up, oh God. We pray for those who might be traveling for summer. We thank you for divine protection. Those who are going by head, those who are going by plane, oh God, that you will keep us safe in the name of Jesus. We cover all ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for those who are on holiday, the teachers, that they will have a good rest in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Um, has anybody got any other prayer point before we share the grace? We're already one minute over. Okay, I'm going to have Dr. Yukiru to please just round up for us and just then we share the grace. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to bless you. Thank you, oh God, your word. We thank you for this time of fellowship in your presence. We thank you for this time of prayer. Father Lord, we give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you for all the victories that we have won together in this place. Father Lord, we thank you, oh God, for healings, for deliverances, oh God. We thank you for joy over sinners, oh God, who have come home to you tonight. Father, we bless you. We praise you, oh God. I want to thank you for my sister Dupe, oh God. I want to thank you for Blossom Network and every woman that's connected to this ministry, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will increase them, oh God, that they will not be small, oh God, that you will multiply them, that they will not be few in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Oh God, I pray that you continue to make the server of the knowledge of God known through this work and through the other ministries that you have committed into Dupe's hands, oh God. Lord, as we go from here, we're not going away from your presence, but we thank you. We thank you for the blessing of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow that goes with us, oh God. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, oh God. Thank you for all that you have done here and all that you continue to do. We ascribe greatness to you, Father. We say, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you. Let's share the grace. Next next month, so the next our next prayer meeting is um, the third Saturday in August. Um, we're going to be looking at, because what we've been doing is just praying for women. We're going to look at, we're going to pray about the woman and our health by God's grace, God helping us in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.